Uh, this is our Christmas Day dinner. We're just staying home tonight. Nice little family night. I had enough of uh, big crowds and people and uh, all the chaos. I just want to thank Hollow Point Chuck for sending us this wonderful ham. It is like the best ham ever. I mean, Thanks, it's so Chuck. good. And Jen made the sweet sauce. She's putting it on the ham now. Let's see what you're doing there. Yeah. And we got homemade, of course, I mean, homemade mashed potatoes. And what is that, like a uh, broccoli kind of... Um, broccoli casserole kind of thing. Broccoli casserole. A lot of carbs and fat on these plates. Mm -hmm. And, and taste. Uh, that's all. That's all that matters tonight. Uh, yeah, I just want to thank Chuck again. Uh, he sends me this ham and uh, it's just phenomenal. Love it. Can't get enough of it. We'll eat it all week. We'll have hot dinner tonight with it. And then another night we'll have cold ham sandwiches with Swiss cheese. We'll make grinders with it. It is awesome. Maybe even a pot of pasta fazool. Yeah, and then, and then when we're done, we're going to send the bone to Ebomi, and he can hover in the corner like a little wet dog and gnaw on it. It is Christmas. There it is, the evil, evil rifle. Such a joke. It really is a joke. Uh, you're going to be hearing about this a lot, I'm sure, about on everyone on everyone's YouTube videos for a while. As long as this is going on, there's going to be YouTube videos on it, and that's a good thing. We got to keep this thing, you know, in the spotlight. Got to keep talking about it because you got to keep reassuring uh, certain people that that are being brainwashed by the media that this rifle is more evil than any, any other rifle. Uh, this is an AK-47 platform. Um, it's an arsenal. It's a milled Bulgarian model, and uh, it's a beautiful rifle. And uh, yeah, I was listening to a radio show on the way to, uh, I tried to drop my son off in New Jersey. And I was coming home, I was listening to a radio show, they were talking about gun talk and all. Guy made a lot of great points. You know, preventing me, a person like me, a person that does the right thing, has no bad intentions, and is a normal person. Preventing me from getting this kind of firearm, how does that make society safer? And all they talk about is protect our kids, protect our kids, protect our kids, and you have level level three child molesters out there that are back on the street again. So it's not the gun, it's the mental illness and it's the justice system that's not protecting us or the kids. I mean, it's unbelievable, you know. Uh, the shooting that happened in uh, New York with the fireman, they did a background on that guy. Do you know he was in jail for murdering his grandmother with a hammer? Why is he, why is he out of prison? If you murder your flesh and blood, there should be zero parole or death penalty. Because that tells you that's the evilest you can be to murder your own flesh and blood. There's no way to rehabilitate somebody like that but he's back on the street and he got a hell got a hold of an illegal gun and he shot firemen with it so every time this happens us guys are going to get blamed gun the gun good gun community is going to get blamed not him not because of his mental illness not because the just the, the justice system let him back out on the street we're going to have to pay for it so, I just wanted to get into that a little bit. There's, there's a couple there you goes for you that, uh, you know, whatever. Um, I've seen a couple YouTube videos of people talking about if there's going to be a gun ban, what to do, what to get ready for. And that's a good topic, so I figure I'll put my spin on it. Um, what I would do, I mean, I mean, I'm not an expert, but I'll give you a good idea what you should be buying right now. Forget about the EOTEX and the aim points and all that crazy stuff. Right now, if you do have the money and you're worried about this kind of stuff and um, the uh, semi-auto rifle is one of your desires and one of your hobbies, this is what you have to do. Uh, let's see. Well, I would try to get uh, high-capacity magazines if you can get them, get them now while you can. Uh, if you can, if you can find drums, 
magazines, high capacity magazines, drums, uh, is a priority if you already have your rifle. Uh, ammo of all kinds, um, not, not only semi-auto rifle ammo, I would stock up on all ammo for even handguns just, be, just in case they try to do something goofy like make the ammo go crazy, spike it or do something nuts with the ammunition. If your state allows you to have a carry permit you need to get it now ASAP. At least if you get it now you'll at least have it for five to seven years whatever your state allows you and at least you'll have it if they ever ban that at least you got it for five years or seven years these are just things that I thought about off the top of my head that that I think they might try to stop I don't think they could stop that though. but you never know how far the government can go or whoever's in charge of it um, if you have your AR or your AKs uh, get your desired, desired muzzle brakes and your flash hiders now because they're you know that's that's another thing you need to get a any kind of parts for for those kind of uh, that category of rifle uh, I would do uh, if you have collapsible stock if you desire one you need to get one now because they're trying to turn they're trying to turn the whole country into New Jersey and New York and those states are are what bands collapsible stocks folding stocks certain kinds of muzzle brakes some certain kinds of flash hiders sometimes they have to be spot welded it can't be removable all stupid shit that doesn't make the gun any more dangerous than what it is it's just nonsense it's constantly people that have no no education on firearms whatsoever and they're still calling magazine clips they're still doing it any semi-auto rifle that you have on your mind. Uh, I know they're probably hard to get right now. I know the ARs and the AKs are almost impossible to get, but if, if you desire a Mini 14, a SOCOM 16, even an M1 Grand or anything, you need, if you have the money, you need to get it now. If you desire a semi auto rifle, you should get it now if you have the money. Find a way to get it. Even a semi auto shotgun. Yes, 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 yes. They didn't even, you know, get to that yet. You know, you know when they're going to get to that? The Sega 12 is going to bring that into play. Once they discover the Sega 12, then they're going to say, well, that's a shotgun. Oh, well, what about the Mossberg 930 or the Remington 1100? Well, maybe, maybe all semi-auto shotguns, they're considered assault rifles. I'm just giving you the worst scenario. You know what I mean? So... If you desire any of those, if you have the money, you need to get out and get it now. Just in case. Just in case. Um, that's all I can come up with. I mean, I'm trying to think of anything else. If you guys can come up with anything else that you think that's in danger of being banned along with this assault, rep, assault weapon ban that they're trying to get through, uh, you know, Write the comment down. Say this, that, or this and that. Pistol grips. Uh, if you want to put a pistol grip on your shotgun or something, uh, you need to uh, get it, order it as fast as you can, stuff like that. Uh, but very, very, most importantly, guys, I think uh, if you have the, the firearm already, uh, ammunition is, is, is the main thing. Okay? I mean, that's, that's the gas for your car. Um, that's what you need to uh, stock up on mostly that's that's what I think all right so uh, yeah I had a good Christmas I want to thank a couple people for sending me cards a couple gun channels sent me cards I want to thank the uh, the, uh, the Bomi family Ms. Bomi and E. Bomi if they sent me a nice Christmas card just show that right there and uh, of course uh, any of these gun, good gun channels are great so I'll put their links under there if you guys are not sub to them uh, Cutlery Lover uh, sent me a beautiful Christmas card and his channel is just, his channel covers everything. Very, very entertaining. He does all different kinds of categories. He's got a hundred thousand subscribers. Very successful channel. Very cool guy. Definitely put his link under there. And the Firearm Patriot also sent me a nice Christmas card. So I'd just like to show them guys that I did receive it. And, I'm acknowledging it and I'm very thankful for it.